To the romantic, the Will Steger Wilderness Center seems a fairyland. Deep in the north woods of Minnesota, five miles from the nearest grid, sitting at the edge of the fabled Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Up close to the realist, you see it's a building made of wilderness, of raw materials hewn from granite and wood. It was born in the mind of explorer and educator Will Steger, inside a tent, as he paused on the crossing of the Antarctic continent by dog sled. It rises from the lakes and the forest, and from the mind of the only living explorer to be presented the National Geographic's John Oliver Lagorce Medal. Awarded only 19 times, Steger joins Amelia Earhart, Admiral Robert Perry, Roald Amundsen, and Jacques Cousteau in this honor. Steger has devoted himself to discovery in order to learn and to share what he has seen, and what Will has seen has disturbed him. The planet is in peril, and there has been little done to confront the dangers. So it was Will Steger's dream to create a sanctuary in nature where leaders from the United States and around the world could retreat, bask in nature's beauty, and be soothed by stillness. And in that stillness, loose the bonds of calcified thought, politics, and argument. Breathe deeply of fresh air and new ideas. Do what can only be done in such a setting. Learn to survive. There are no arguments around a campfire, and it is Will's dream to make the Wilderness Center a figurative campfire around which gather the brightest minds in government, industry, environment, and the public. To see a way forward, to find a path out of the peril we face by finding our way to the Wilderness Center. It has been said that in order to realize your dream, you must do something toward it every day. Will Steger, stone by stone, beam by beam, expedition by expedition, has been building this center of thought and solution for nearly 20 years. Enlisting the strong backs of the young and the ancient craftsmanship of the old masters and embracing the newest of technologies, the Steger Wilderness Center has sprung from the mind of one man, but the dream has been touched by a thousand hands. The Wilderness Center is not simply off-grid, a place in the woods. Using Will's aptitude for collaboration, he is joined with Cummins Power Generation, the University of St. Thomas, and Sundial Solar in creating Minnesota's first microgrid. It is fitting that Will's dream will be powered by nature. He is an optimist about our future. Optimism is contagious. The Steger Wilderness Center is not simply an idea whose time has come. It is an idea as old as humanity itself. All progress is rooted in innovation, courageousness, and sometimes disruptive ideas applied to the present moment. Progress becomes reality when great minds, young and old and seemingly opposing forces, join in collaboration to do as Emerson said, to not simply follow the path through the wilderness, but to make an entirely new path. <laughs>